for today's Cyber CEO episode. Sheila, my current cyberbacker in place, life changing. Why was I afraid to do this before? Why? Why did I think it wouldn't be worth the money? Worth her weight in gold. She's making sure I have everything. I can be fully vested. Both of them, Sheila on the the coaching side, and Jen on the real estate side, they make my life infinitely easier, which gives me free time which allows me to do the things I want to do, which makes me a happy person. Because I trust them, they make my life easier. It just, it makes me happy to be around them. The experience with Cyberbacker has been, if this was the experience with the others, way up here. I can't imagine not having a Cyberbacker in my world. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest in the show right now. Kara, how are you doing today? I am fine, Jello. Thank you so much for having me here today. What a what a privilege. Yes, we are very excited to have you on the show. And again, we appreciate your time. We know you're very busy. Now, um, to kick things off, to let you know, we have a lot of listeners who are also business owners just like yourself. So I need your help. Um can you introduce okay. yourself to our audience? Maybe starting off with what's your role in the business, Kara? My name is Kara Mall, um, and I actually have a dual dual role. My first primary job is I am a head coach within Keller Williams Maps Coaching, and um, I coach other coaches. I coach people in Gary Keller's Top 100 Mastermind, and um, I coach a variety of agents, uh, keying in on mindset issues and business issues. So that's job number one, and I have a fabulous cyber backer on that side of my business. And then I also am a name partner in a real estate team that I founded mm, five, six years ago called the Mall Petrowski Group out of Chicago. And we just added in the past 30 days um, a cyber backer to that business as well to help us do some back-end marketing and social media, quite frankly, our lead generation. There we go. So two cyber backers in your businesses then. Now, um, yes. I'm curious to know though, um, how long have you been in the world of real estate, Kara? probably since before you were born, Jello. I was <laughs> in 2003 is when I first got my real estate license. However, I had been investing in real estate before I actually got my license. I've been investing since 1989, 1990. So long, a long time. And then decided like many real estate agents, I'm going to get in real estate to save yeah. the commission and ended up falling in love with actually helping, helping people. But a lot of experience, a ton of experience for you in the real estate world then. Now, um, yes. I'm curious though, how about with virtual leverage? Is this your first time working with someone virtual or did you have experience before Cyberbacker? You know what? We we did not. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say. We had a little bit of virtual mm -hmm. leverage um, domestically mm -hmm. and ended up hiring a, a friend of a friend to do something that wasn't really in our office mm -hmm. and found it that that they had their way of doing things. We had ours, the system and models weren't in alignment. And when I, when I really started thinking about who should I bring in as leverage with my coaching business, hands down, when I asked around, a cyberbacker was the only name, the only name oh, that, that people said, um, positive things about, <laughs> I'll put it that way. Cause there were other, there were other companies yeah. named, and it was it, it was usually prefaced with I'm going to tell you one and you need to avoid them and you should go to Cyberbacker. Yeah. So that's that's I've had experience and yet the experience with Cyberbacker has been if this was the experience with the others way up here. All right, there we go. Good and a lot of good feedback towards Cyberbacker. But 
how did you find out about us though? So did you just ask around for virtual leverage or did you see us somewhere, see us online? I had seen you everywhere. Um, I have the honor and privilege of knowing your founder, Craig Goodliffe, and have watched him grow and his journey, watched him found the company. And you know what, Jello, if I'm being honest, mm-hmm. I, I want to share a little story here because sure. I think there might be other people that were in the same position as me. I was a coach with MAPS running a very successful coaching business. And yet I found myself working ridiculous hours. And I kept saying, I don't, I don't need, I don't need help. I don't need a cyber backer. Even though many of my colleagues had them, I don't need a cyber backer. I have this. I have this. I will tell you within a, within a week to 10 days, maybe two, two weeks of getting um, Sheila, my current cyber backer in place life-changing because the way I thought I should be doing things, you know, the, the best way, yeah. nobody can do it better than me. She came in and said, well, how about a uh, coach? How about if we organize the, the blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, can you show me what that looks like? The next morning I get to my computer, she's got everything organized. And I went, that's it. That's it. Your <laughs> keeper forever. Done, 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 done. <laughs> and then of course the smacking my head, why was I afraid to do this before? Why Why did I think it wouldn't be worth the money? W- worth her weight in gold. And that's how, what I find with most cyber backers. And here's the other thing, Jello. As a coach, mm-hmm. I coach a lot of coaches and agents. You heard me say that. And I've seen them go through other, other um, virtual assistant mm-hmm. companies. They always end up coming back to cyber backer if they try somewhere else or the cyber backers that, that they've hired have been such quality talents. Um, and within your community too, the way you all communicate with each yeah. other. And if we need an answer, there's somebody there that's done it, invented it, knows about it, can share about it. There is, there's just such a network. I can't imagine not having a cyber backer in my world. There we go. Now talking about the network, again, one of the core values yeah. of cyber backer is relationships. So our cyber backers yes. got each other's back. So again, that's the culture yes. of cyber backer right there. Now, Talking more about your cyber backers, what are the mm-hmm. things that you leverage off to both cyber backers and what are the things that you let them do every day? Interestingly enough, they're they're very similar, even though the businesses are mm-hmm. different. They both, um, Sheila, my my coaching cyber backer, she's on every coaching call with me. She's taking she's actively taking my notes. Um, before the call, she's sending out the reminder. She's making sure I have everything so that when I am on the Zoom mm-hmm. with that client, giving them their 30 minutes every week, I can can be 100% hands-on. If I need something, she can pop it in the chat box for me. I can be fully vested. And then she'll put the notes in our tracking system. She'll send out call recaps, all of that kind of stuff. On the real estate side, Jen, very similar. She spends the morning on the phone with our ISA organizing, here's the people you're going to call. I'm going to put the note, you you just call them, they're on the screen together. Um, he's calling, she's taking notes, doing any follow-up, putting them on smart plans or anything they need to. And then in the afternoon, she's doing our marketing and social media. Um, we're starting to plan some events for the fall. So she's doing all the event planning and the save the dates and, and Google, you know, Google AdWords and our YouTube True. channel. Doing it all. Absolutely doing it all. I I don't think there's anything that um, I wouldn't give either of them to do at this point based on their the skill level and the way they've proven themselves. So basing it on their skill level and a trust that you've built with both of them, of course, right? Absolutely. In fact, um, I'll share a little story, Jello. Sure. When when our latest cyber backer, Jen, came on, you know, we get we get their reviews every week and and that of their the recap of their coaching call. And there was something in in there that was just worded kind of funny. And I immediately reached out to the headbacker and questioned it. And the the headbacker said, Great question. We'll we'll get you an answer. And immediately the next day, Jen said, This is what we were talking. I'm I'm happy. They they Tell me I have to have something that I that I need to work on or something that needs improvement. I think we're good. So I there's absolutely that trust there because I could see it in her face and see it in her demeanor that we're on the same page. We're absolutely on the same page. There's that trust. Again, especially is talking more about that trust. I think that's very important in any kind of partnership, not just in the virtual world, but with any partnership no. that you have in the office with colleagues, yeah. things like that, right? 
Oh, hundred percent. If you don't have trust, what there's, there's no relationship. True. Right there. No relationship. Now, before you got into the partnership with both cyberbackers, yeah. you went through the hiring process with cyberbackers. So yes. how did that go for you? How was the experience? Oh, you know, it was, um, I will say it was relatively uh, pain free. Mm -hmm. What was nice is, you know, being with Keller Williams, I know the basic format that you guys mm -hmm. follow having the, the CBPA, yes. which is similar to our KPA. And what I like is I get, I give you all, here's what I want them mm -hmm. to do. Here's the type of person. I mean, they'll, they'll both tell you one of the questions I asked them was, how are you with a very strong personality who tends to speak very directly and might not always smile, but if you're in my world, know that you like me and or know that I like you. And um, they both had to answer that because I know that's how I show up. I think quick and need things done quick. Um, and they, they were really good at answering not what I wanted to hear, mm -hmm. answering who they were and being able to narrow it down. I knew, especially with this last one, mm -hmm. you know, I, it's, it's hard because I don't really remember with, with Sheila <laughs> three years ago. Um, and I know she came with experience because she had been with a, with another coach mm -hmm. Jen this time, you know, we had, we had quite a few candidates and what I really keyed into was, is that person going to be happy on our team as a partner on our team in the long run. And that's what, that's what we looked for. Um, and between being able to be on zoom, being able mm -hmm. to actually talk to the people, being able to see their file ahead of time and know what experience they have, um, hearing their language skills, their communication skills, all of that through the interview process and then narrowing it down and saying, okay, um, this last time, you know, there, there were a, a couple, but we knew what we wanted and it was easy to just pick that person out. So you guys do a really good job of listening and picking the candidates who it's not just, okay, this person applied and Kara needs someone. So let's just throw them in the pool. It's, do they feel they'd be a good fit? Do I feel they'd be a good fit? And that's happening before we even have a conversation. So that, that makes the process streamlined and smooth. True. And and here's what I also know on the back end. I've had the experience with, uh, with coaches that I coach and some mm -hmm. clients where maybe they didn't get the right fit in the beginning. And I'm not saying that's anyone's fault. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just sometimes, I mean, we all, we all go on dates. That doesn't mean we're True. marrying that person. Right. And, and, you know, maybe they got engaged, meaning they hired that person and, and over, over a short amount of time, it just wasn't working. Yeah. And when they went back to Cyberbecker, Cyberbecker was very quick to say, all right, great, let's figure this out. Let's fix it. Let's, is it this person or do we have someone else that would be a better fit for you? You guys are always responsive with, with that. Yes, again, here in Cyberbecker, we always strive to make it work the first time every time. But again, there, yes, are, these of course. there are just those special cases there. sometimes that it won't work out. But again, yes. we're always here to back you up. Now, or someone or someone decides the job changed yeah, there you go. and they need someone with different skills True. or something like that. It's it's because the job morphed into something different based on that person's business. Yes, because again, the fit is very important because the tasks that exactly. you're gonna be leveraging and the values, of course, of each person. Now, um, you've been with Cyberbacker for a long time, especially with your yes. first one. Um yes. Do you have any tips that you can share with our listeners who are also business owners on how to create a successful and a strong partnership with someone who's virtual? Absolutely. Treat them like they would if they were sitting in the sitting in the office. Um, it's, it's like anything. If you just say, okay, great, um, here's the job, go do it. And you're not inspecting what you expect. You're setting everybody else up for failure. And you're the one that's going to, you know, as the, the rainmaker on the team or the person hiring them, you're going to have to be the one that cleans it up. So invest the time in the beginning to really get to know that person and be in relationship with that person and ask, how's, how's your family? How is, you know, what are you doing this weekend? How did it go? The same way you would as if you were sitting, they were sitting next to you in an office sure. because for all intents and purposes, Sheila and Jen, they're a half a world away. <laughs> and yet they're as close as you are to me right now, Jello. And I feel like, I feel like we're sitting in a couple of really comfy chairs, having a conversation. <laughs> That's right. There's no real difference, just the distance probably, but no. the way you work, the way you work towards them, of course, it's just the same as someone who's in the office too. 
Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If you do a daily huddle, have them on the yes. daily huddle. If you, you know, in the, especially in the beginning, have check-in calls throughout the day. Mm-hmm. How is it? How are things going? What more do you need from me? Yeah. Um, I always, I always tend to think as someone in a relationship, um, I'm not looking through a window. I'm mm-hmm. looking in a mirror. What more do I need to provide? Yeah. And I don't always have the answer. I ask, I ask them and they'll tell me. Yeah, because again, this is a partnership, a two-way partnership between you exactly. and your cyber backers. Now, um, of course, Carol, one last question for you. And sure. since this is going to be in our social media pages and both cyber backers are going to be able to watch this. So we would like to know, what do you like most about your cyber backers? What's the first thing that comes to mind? The first thing that comes to mind, because I trust them, mm-hmm. they make my life easier. And that's that's all I would ask for is the moment someone starts complicating my life, I start wondering, why do I need you? Both of them, Sheila on the, the coaching side and Jen on the real estate side, they make my life infinitely easier, which gives me free time, which allows me to do the things I want to do, which makes me a happy person. So, um, and, obvi- and honestly, the first answer I thought of was their smiles. We get on a huddle every morning at nine o'clock central time and they're both there and they're smiling and they're happy and, and, and it just, it makes me happy to be around them. Now, we are very, very excited to see where this partnership grows so for the next couple of years. And again, Kara, thank you very much for dropping by. I had fun talking to you today. My pleasure, Jello. I appreciate it. Thank you to, to Craig, you, and everybody at Cyberbacker, and especially Sheila and Jen for making my life easier. Appreciate you. It's been we, a privilege. We appreciate you and your time, Kara. Have a great day. Take care. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.